Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am doing great. How are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome to another day. Welcome to another class, a very rainy day. It has been raining a lot, a lot, a lot. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Yeah, bye bye, bye bye to the game. <laughs> yes. Yeah, all, all the ones that were waiting for the game of El Salvador, it's not going to happen. In serious? No, because I think it's raining and the stadium is not, uh, it's not good for the game or some. I was just listening to something about that, so I don't know what's going on with the game. Hello, Anayansi. Hello, Heidi. Okay, there we go. I was, I was checking why I couldn't see you. Well, my dear students, I hope you have advanced in your platform today. Did you have the opportunity to work on the platform? Yes, teacher, I did uh, uh, exam. Perfect. Uh, yesterday. You finished the, the midterm exams? Yes, teacher. Fantastic. Okay, so on the, on the platform, please, I need you to take a screenshot of the advance that you have had, and I need you to send it to the group. There in the group, I need you to send a picture of your progress, enter to the to the um, platform, and I need you please to take a picture of the progress, and you are going to send it on the group, please. Now, teacher. Yes, right now. Okay. Ana Yancy, eh, no sé si tuvo tiempo de avanzar en la plataforma. Hello, Ana Yancy. Hello, hello. Okay, so eh, Ana Yancy, no sé si me escucha. Okay. She's connecting the audio. Okay, so Anayansi, hola, no sé si ya me escucha. I am listening, teacher. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, Heidi is listening. Okay, but uh, Heidi creo que está sacando ahorita el screenshot de el, el progreso. Necesito, yes, necesito a Yancy que igual usted lo saque. Well, hello, Catherine. Welcome. Vamos a buscar cabal donde está el progreso de la plataforma y vamos a enviar una foto al, al WhatsApp. Ahorita les voy a enviar un mensaje ahí para que me lo puedan contestar. Okay. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Katherine. Eh, ahorita lo que estamos haciendo es ver el avance que han tenido en la plataforma. Porfa, ahí en, la, en, el, en el grupo les envío un mensaje para que me pueden enviar una foto de este del progreso que han tenido. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, Anayansi. 
Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Julio. Hello. Hello. Okay, welcome everybody. Welcome. Thank you. Eh, les estaba pidiendo, porfa, que si me pueden enviar al grupo eh, de WhatsApp una foto del progreso de cómo vamos en la plataforma. Ahorita estamos en la clase número 8 y como les decía ayer, teníamos que avanzar en los exámenes, a ver más o menos cuánto hemos avanzado para poder eh, ver el progreso que hemos tenido en la plataforma. ¿Ok? Right now? Yes, please. Right now. Ok, wait a minute. Gracias. Ok, Heidi, eh, ahí nos falta todavía avanzar en la homework 4 y 6, así que tratemos de terminarlas para que no nos quedemos a medias. Eh, excuse me, teacher. Eh, todavía creo que le faltan dos tareas que terminar. Yes, de, de la sección 3 o de 4, 5. Ajá, yeah, I need you to work on those, please. Okay. Hello, Marlon, how are you? Good evening, I, I am a, I live better. I am very happy to hear that. Yes. I am very glad to hear that you feel better. Okay, so please, during the progress of, of the night, I need you to send me the picture of the progress in the group, okay? I need you to send me a picture of the progress in the group. And let me see. Quiero ver. No sé quién me acaba de enviar la última foto. Creo que fue Yancy. Yancy. Sí. Creo que tiene una que todavía le falta llegar arriba del 80%, la tarea 5. Es la última, la 5. La ok, ¿y cuál ha sido el problema, Jancy, en esa? Eh, las he estado este, escribiendo aparte en el cuaderno y traduciéndolas, pero no, no me sale la oración correcta. Ok, estamos en, eh, si no me equivoco, vamos a ayudar a Jancy con eso, es... Quiero ver cuál. Por ejemplo, I am God at, y entre paréntesis, problem, solve, other people. Ok, quiero ver cuál es el ejercicio, eh, Jancy. Así le podemos ayudar todos. Es el 5, es en la número 3 de la tarea 5. Ok, let me see. Ok, 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 ok. Veamos. Cuatro. Cinco. Ok, let me see. Mr. Aldo. Igual todavía nos faltan eh, la tarea cuatro y cinco. Aldo Salvador. Eh, quiero ver, Jan, si me avisa, porfa. Quiero ver cuál es. Um, no es de estas, del midterm, no es. Bea. No, no, es la, es la, es el primer ejercicio de la clase 5, de la tarea 5. Ok, ¿en qué sección está, Jan, si para yo ubicarme bien cuál es? Uh, lo voy a buscar, por porque... Ajá, para poderle apoyar bien con Ajá. eso. Ajá. Ok, porque ahorita, para asegurarme ahorita. que todos vayamos avanzando eh, de manera ordenada. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Está lento mi internet. I think everybody. Yo creo que es por la lluvia. Ahorita. It's because of the rain. Ok, I have Jancy, I have Heidi. Eh, I am waiting for the rest. Los demás, porfa, si me la pueden enviar, sería fantástico. Es en la sección 5, en la, en el primer. Sección 5. Sí. A ver. Veamos, veamos. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Milton. 
Estamos viendo el progreso de la plataforma, así que porfa, si tiene por ahí su plataforma, sáquele un screenshot a su progreso, porque ahí vamos viendo que todos vayamos iguales, que todos vayamos parejos, y hay algunos que ya avanzaron muchísimo más, pues mucho mejor. Eh, ok. Ok. Y ahí vamos a ir viendo todos sus avances. Igual si alguien se ha trabado en alguna sección o algo, lo vamos a ir trabajando. This one, Anayansi. Sí. The first one. Yes. Ah, it's because we haven't, we haven't got there. <laughs> That's why. Let's see. In this one we have a... Okay, so... Rearrange them, rearrange them using the words in brackets. Remember the ing form of the verb. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. In this case, it's like, I don't like commuting by bus. This is the ing forms, gerunds. I don't like commuting by bus. Okay. Words like this. Okay. ¿Es este el ejercicio, eh, Yancy? Pienso que ahorita me ha trabado el internet. Yo okay. no puedo meter en el video. Ok, so in this case, eh, what you Pero have to yo, do... la, uh -huh. yo las anoté, es la, la número 3, donde dice, I am God at. Ah, ok. Y, In this case, I think there is a mistake in the platform and it says, I am good. That's a problem, but uh, it's supposed to say, I am good. But I don't really know if it's correct. I am good at solving other people's problems. I am good at solving other people's problems. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I still like Okay, so I am going to check that one in a second because that one is for a little bit more uh, advanced topic. I am going to check it right now. And I think there is a mistake in the, in the platform. I am good at solving other people's problems. Uh-huh. No, but that's, that's the phrase. Other, other people's problem. Ah, okay, problem. En la respuesta le han quitado la S. I am good at solving other people's problem. Problem. Ajá. Ah, no, te, no tiene que llevar la S. Ajá, no lleva la S. Ah, ok. Ok, but that's, that's something. I am going to, to continue yeah. sharing that with you later on. Ok, so please, everybody, I need you to continue sending me the results of your progress in the platform. And so we can advance on that and we can see how you are doing thank you julio thank you marlon for the progress thank you very much I, i can see that you have advanced the three and the midterm that's very good you are advancing number four that's good and the final all of them on 100 that's perfect marlon also as well Mr. Salvador, very good. So uh, I really need you to continue sending them uh, the progress there, but most of you are doing very good. So thank you. Hello, Diomesis. How are you? Estamos eh, recibiendo. Estamos recibiendo los progresos de la plataforma en el chat. No sé quién fue el último que me lo envió. ¿Quién fue el último que me envió el resultado? Ajá. Eh, teacher, si es de 52, es el mío. Ajá, ok, good, very good. Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Siete, siete, sí. uh, 52% at the end. Ok, and in this one, oh, you are in unit, you are in homework number four, almost finishing, that's very good. Good, very good. Okay, so we are going to continue there. Please continue sending me your results. I am going to be very glad to receive them. 
Thank you very much, my dear students. And I am going to go over the presentation for today. Well, yesterday we were talking about celebrations, right? We were talking about the different celebrations of, uh, of the world. And we are going to go over the topic today. Yesterday we studied this a little bit on the platform that we studied the different relative clauses with when, right? Ayer estuvimos repasando las relative clauses with when cuando estábamos haciendo los ejercicios de la plataforma. Ahora las vamos a ver un poquito ya más a detalle. Eh, muy bien que todos ya han ido avanzando en the platform and that's good. So my dear students, let me see. I have two questions here for you. What celebrations do you know and what is your favorite celebration? What celebrations do you know and what is your favorite celebration? Uh -huh. Here in El Salvador, we have many different types of celebrations. We have a, almost a celebration for every single month. We have Valentine's, we have Christmas, we have New Year. What other celebrations do you know? Independence Day. Independence Day, <laughs> the best day of the year because it's my birthday. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Independence Day. What else? Holy Week. Holy Week. Very good. Holy Week. That is Semana Santa. Uh -huh. What else? The Mother. Mother's Day, right? Mother's Day. Very good. What other celebration do we have? Father's Day. Father's Day. Now it's a national the holiday. Teacher. The Teacher's Day. Oh, right. The Teacher's Day. That's a very fantastic celebration. Right? Teacher's Day. What other celebrations do we have? August vacation. Aha, uh -huh. that those are called local parties. Local parties are the celebrations of the different communities. And I am going to send it to you on the chat. The local parties. Very good. The local parties are the different celebrations of the communities. Any other one? Do you remember celebrations for October? What celebrations do we have in October? Dia de las Brujas. <laughs> okay, yeah, here in El Salvador we don't celebrate that one, but we have uh, well, Halloween, it's a celebration. We don't have it in El Salvador, but uh, it is a celebration in, in other countries. What about in November? What do you celebrate in November? Uh, and the, how do you say difuntos? Aha, do you know that one? This is it. And yeah, but how do you call that one specifically? You call it All Saints Day. The All Saints Day Saints or Day. Oh, okay. the Death Day. Death Day is another very... Uh, common description of that day, right? You call it that day or you call it All Saints Day. In November, you also have, well, in the United States, you have a very popular celebration. Mm -hmm. Do you know which one is? In November, you Thank have? You. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, right? You have Thanksgiving. And that's a very popular celebration in the United States. Here in El Salvador, we have almost everything. We even have a pupusas day. Do you know what is, when is the pupusas day? Mm, I can remember. Aha. Do you say muertos? Yeah, I mean, Death, Death day. <laughs> Google it. The when is the pupusas day? The pupusas right day is the first Sunday of November. It is most commonly on November 7. November 7 is the Pupusas Day. It's the first Sunday of November, right? So that is the day for the Pupusa. And we have day for everything, 
Here you have a day, day of the orange, a day of the jocote, a day for everything. Children's so, Day. Children's Day, right? The Children's Day. That's another important celebration that we have in El Salvador, the Children's Day. Children, mothers, secretaries, fathers. Uh, we have the Doctor's Day, the Nurses' Day. We have almost a day for everything. You have the Engineers' Day, <coughs> the Accountants' Day. That it's, if I am not mistaken, the Accountants' Day is on... <gasps> My goodness, I don't remember. February? No. ¿Cuándo es el día del contador? A ver. Si tenemos contadores aquí. Sí, hay uno. Ajá. Eh, 17 May. May 17. Yeah, I knew it was 17 or something, but I don't remember. I didn't remember which one. May 17, right? 17 May. May Even, yeah. Oh, Diomesis, I think you're an accountant, right? <laughs> yes, the Omesis is an accountant. So, sí. May 17th. 17th. Good. And we have a day for the engineer, a day for the for every single thing, for the pilot, for the nurse, for many other celebrations. But what is your personal favorite celebration? What is your personal favorite celebration? Your, your birthday <laughs> your birthday for sure that that it's a, a very fantastic day you feel Merry very christmas. special christmas day christmas day why for you okay because uh, independence hey that's cool uh-huh because of what uh, regina um because um I receive. I receive many, many obsequios, regalos. Many gifts. You receive okay. many gifts, right? That's pretty awesome to receive gifts. It's very nice. It is very beautiful when you receive gifts. So, uh, I am going to go here. I am going to make some changes here. And we are going to specify why is your favorite celebration. And I am going to specify it here. And we are going to go here. My birthday is a day when, and you are going to complete the sentence. My birthday is a day when I receive a lot of gifts. I eat a lot of cake. I celebrate with my family. I go to a restaurant. I Sometimes have a party. it's a sur surprise. Ah, okay. My birthday. Surprise party. Surprise my birthday party. is a day when I have surprise parties. Yay! Hey, have you ever had a surprise party? Ya les han hecho alguna fiesta sorpresa? Yes. Wow, fantastic. Yes, yes. No me ha pasado, pero va a ser lindo. Oh, my, birthday, oh. my birthday is a day when I have surprise parties. What is another ending that we can have to this sentence? My birthday is a day when... Milton says I have surprise parties. Regina? Sure. Yes. When calls, calls phone, very... Uh huh. Very, very close. Home. Okay, that's good. When you say, I receive many <laughs> phone calls. Okay. My birthday is a day when I receive many phone calls. Anayansi, what happens in your birthday? My birthday is a day when. Uh... Cuando eh, no, 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 no. What mm. happens in your birthday? ¿Qué hace en su cumpleaños? ¿Qué hago? Ajá. Do you eat cake? Yeah. Do you go to a restaurant? Do you celebrate with your family? Uh, restaurant. Aha, so you say, my birthday I is have, a day. I, I, have, I have 
restaurant. Okay. When I visit a nice restaurant. Okay. I visit a nice restaurant. I visit a nice restaurant. Let's see. Let's go with the next one. Julio, what do you do in your birthday? Hello. Uh, really, really, uh, we came to the restaurant to celebrate, eat something family. You eat, so you get together with your family. Mm -hmm. When I, you say, get together with my family. Okay, that's another situation that can happen on birthdays. Let's see. Marlon, what do you do on your birthday? My birthday is a day when I receive a gift of my family. Exactly. When I receive gifts from my family. Gifts from my family. So that is the how we specify what happens on a specific days like your birthday. In El Salvador, we have many different celebrations and we can explain each of the celebrations and holidays. For January, do you have a specific celebrations that happened on January? What are the celebrations of January? Vamos a hacer un calendario aquí de celebraciones. What happens on January? What are some celebrations that we have that, that uh, month? I am going to give you the first one. My daughter's birthday. <laughs> okay, your daughter's birthday. Okay. Uh, New Year? Oh, okay, all right. Okay. King's Day. Which one? Day, uh, New Year's Day. Reyes. Oh, the three. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> Marlon daughter's birthday. <laughs> the, in that one, it's called the three, and this is with capital, the three wise men day, right? This is el día de los santos reyes, los tres reyes, the three wise men day. Good. For February, what celebration do we have on February? A very famous one. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Oh, the day on which everybody loves everybody. Valentine's Day. Okay, that is the most common one that we have on February. What is another celebration that we have on that month? Do you know any other one? No? If not, we can go on March. What celebration do we have on March? Aha. Uh -huh. On March. Day, the business administration. Ah, the business administration day. Okay. When is it? I see. Teacher. Yes. Uh, finally, yes. finally, March. Um, Which one? And um, Semana Santa, teacher. Ah, Holy Week. Good. Holy we have week. Holy Week. Uh, ¿Y cómo se dice al principio, teacher? Porque a veces sale a, uh, finally, it, finally. Yeah, it, it varies. It varies, you say. It varies, but yeah, it can be at the beginning of March, at the end, or in April. Right? It's it, correct. It varies. Varia, you say it varies. Uh, Holy Week. Uh, Here, uh -huh. March 8th, uh, Women's Day. The Women's Day, yeah, that's good. We have St. Patrick's Day also. That everything is green on St. Patrick's Day. The Women's Day, that's good. The Women's Day, good. For April, what celebrations do we have on April? I think it's on April. Uh -huh. exactly. Yes. Exactly. The Secretary's Day. The Secretary's Day. What is another one that we have in April? 
my birthday. <laughs> Marlon's birthday. <laughs> Marlon is a very good example for everything. So you have Marlon's birthday. I ever celebrate every <laughs> month. You will be a celebration right there. For May, what celebration do we have on May? World day. World day. <laughs> World day. The Labor Day. Labor Day. And then we have also the Soldier's Day. day. Mother's Day, teacher. And then Mother's Day, right? And the Mother's Day. Good. Excellent. What about in June? Father's Day. Father's Day. Teacher's Day. Father's, Father's Day. Day and the, the Day. best day of the year, the Teacher's Day. <laughs> Teacher's Day. And I think we have it. In July? What celebration do we have in July? July. <laughs> Only Santa Ana's party. Santa Ana's parties. <laughs> if you go to Feria Ganadera. Well, in the past, with no COVID, we used to go there to Santa Ana. Is there any other celebration in July? All right. What about in August? Uh -huh. How do you say Agostinas? Just the Agostinas. We have here Salvador del Mundo's Day. And okay. we have also San Salvador's Forties. Okay, those are the ones that we have in August. September? Teacher Nat's Independence birthday. Day. <laughs> Independence Day. And your birthday. And teacher Nat's birthday, right? Independence Day. Hey, when is your birthday, people? You oh, haven't mentioned. Oh, Solo Marlon se ha puesto ahí en su calendario. Independence Day. And your birthday? Oh, my birthday. Okay. Oh, but it's the same. Independence Day. Me too. Day. Me too. Regina, is your birthday? Yes. Regina. Who else? ¿Quién más cumpleaños en septiembre? Only Regina and me. Me, teacher. Ana Yancy. Yes. Who else? We are going to have it there. Okay, Nati, Regina, and Yancy's birthday. Good, very good. What about in October? What celebrations do we have in October? My birthday. <laughs> Alfredo's birthday, good. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alfredo's birthday. The Children's Day, good. Children's Day. The Children's Day. Teacher, how do you say raza? Um, I think that is, let me, it's because it has a name. It has a name. Let me see. That that celebration has a specific name. <laughs> Race Day. <laughs> Come on. Let's see. Teacher Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> ¿Cómo que le llaman? El, el, el de las brujas, ¿cómo le dicen? Ah, Halloween. Hollywood. Halloween. Okay. The day of the race. <laughs> Columbus Day. That's the name. Columbus Day. Columbus Day. It's El Dia de la Raza, right? Columbus Day. What about in November? What do we have in November? I send it on the chat. We have All Saints Day. <laughs> El Dia de Hollywood. And that, that was good. All Saints Day and Thanksgiving, right? Sorry, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> no, but it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I understood. Yo entendí. Yeah, Thanksgiving, and on December we have Christmas, right? Christmas Day. Christmas Day. And we also can have, a, in, in this one, we have New Year's Day, and we also can have New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is la víspera de 
Año Nuevo. And in Christmas Day, you can have Christmas Day, that it's the original day, or Christmas Eve, que es la víspera de Navidad. Eso sería para nosotros el 24. Christmas Eve. And Christmas Day, it's December 25th, right? That it's the original celebration day. Good. So those are the different celebrations that we have in uh, our country, right? We have many more, but those are the ones that, uh, that are like the most common ones, right? Let's see. And I am going to go and check something here just for us to continue. What is something specific that you can highlight from each of the days? And I need you to create one sentence similar to the one that we were doing, right? And you can say February is a day when you give a lot of chocolates or when you give flowers to people or when you go to restaurants or Christmas is a day when you eat a lot of chicken, uh, a lot of breads with chicken and turkey, right? I need you to create one sentence with one celebration and the relative clause when. How are you going to do it? Here, I am going to have it there. For example, here, February 14 is a day when people give cards to the ones they love. Right, February 14, that it's Valentine's, is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. Or I have another example. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. I need you please to take one of the celebrations. Vamos a tomar una de estas celebraciones que tenemos aquí y vamos a hacer una oración igual a la que les acabo de mostrar. Okay, so choose one celebration and I need you to create one sentence. I need you please to send the sentence on the chat or to open the microphone and give me the sentence, okay? New Year's Day Eve is when I meet it with my family. Okay, New Year's Day is a day when I meet with my family. New Year's Day is a day when I meet with my family. Good, very good. Write the sentence on your notebook. Someone else? I am going to leave the example here. Any other example? Hello, teacher. Go ahead, Mr. Ismael. Uh, Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. I'm sorry for not having my camera on. Don't worry. I know okay. the internet is very slow because of the rain. Yes, the the my sentence is Father's Father's Day is uh, it's a uh, day uh -huh. when I give a present to my father or it's dad. A, exactly, it's a day when I give a present to my dad or to my father. Good, very good. Thank you very much, Ismael. Very good sentence. Any other example? The Halloween's day. Every kid play uh, trick and treat. Okay, Halloween day. Okay, Halloween, you can say Halloween is a celebration or is a day when kids, kids play, play trick or treat. Trick and, yes. I am going to write the sentence here. Halloween, I, Halloween is a day when kids play trick or treat, okay? Halloween is a day when kids play trick or treat, okay? I wrote the sentence right here. Halloween is a day when kids play trick or treat. What is the meaning of trick or treat? Dulce o truco. Very good. Travesura, ¿cómo sería? Dulce o travesura, es lo mismo. Yeah, that's the same, it's the same. Trick or treat is the same. Dulce o travesura, it's the same thing. Sure. Yes? Uh, May 10th is the day when people give a flower a mother. Okay, May 10th okay. is the day when people give flowers to their mothers. Good. To their, mother. good. To their mothers, right? Because you are doing it in general. 
when people give flowers to their mothers. Good, very good. Any other sentence? Teacher. Yes. Holy week, Holy, Holy week is time uh, with uh, my family and I. Uh, we have a, a time the reflection about God. Okay, so we have Holy Week. I am going to organize your sentence. Holy Week is a time when we uh, when we what was the, the idea when we reflect or we, we, we think? What was it? Sorry. Holy Week. Can you repeat the sentence? Holy Week is a time yeah, when when we uh, my family and I uh -huh. Uh, mm, uh, we have a, a time the reflection. Okay, a we're going to have a reflection time about about God. About God. Okay, Holy Week is a time when my family and I have a reflection time about God. Okay, that's good. Very good. Excellent. Very good sentence. Anyone else who has another example? Any other example? I have received, oh, I haven't received any on the chat. Okay, let me see, Mr. Mr. Julio, what is your sentence? Okay. Uh, Independence Day is a day when in El Salvador we celebrate uh, a public holiday. Exactly, right? Independence Day is a time when we celebrate a public holiday, right? It's good. Or when we celebrate our country. So that's a very good example. Let me see, I'm going to ask for the last one. I'm going to ask for the last example. Catherine, do you have your example? Okay, I think she's having difficulties. Okay, good. If you uh, get it later on, you can send it to me. I have here three specific readings and we have one about Thanksgiving, one about February 14, and we have one about New Year's Eve. I need three volunteers to help me read the three paragraphs. Okay, Mr. Julio, it's one. Blanca, it's another one. And Ana Romero is the next one. Okay, good. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. My, Julio, the first Okay, one. my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. Everyone in the family gets together at our house. I cook a large turkey and serve it with cranberry sauce. Sauce, very okay. good. Thank you very much. Blanca. February 14 is the day when the people give cards and presents to the ones they love. I'm really looking forward to Valentine's Day this year. I really have the perfect gift for my boyfriend. Very good. Anna, go ahead. I can't wait until the end of the year. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. We usually have a party at someone's house. We stay up all night and then go out for, for breakfast in the morning. Very good job. So the sentences that I was giving you as an example, did you find them in the three readings? ¿Encontraron algún ejemplo de una relative clause como la que estábamos utilizando en estos tres párrafos? For example, here, uh, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day when, right? And here you have one example. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. It's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. So 
If we can combine the two sentences, how can we have one complete sentence? Si pudiéramos unir estas dos oraciones en una sola usando esa relative clause when, ¿cómo la armaríamos? Tenemos, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving y la segunda oración, it is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. Hagamos una sola oración con esas dos. In North America celebrate the harvest? Yes, but I need you to join the two sentences. Necesito que hagamos una sola oración con esas dos que están ahí. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving y it's a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. Any idea? When, when the Nodiver celebrates a harvest? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, any other idea? Ah, ya los puse a pensar a todos. Only one sentence. Look at the examples that I have here. Okay, esperen, vamos a ir a los ejemplos aquí. February 14 is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. Okay. How would you make it? Thanksgiving uh -huh. is a day when oh. North Americans mm -hmm. celebrate the harvest. Excellent! Claps for Ana Romero. Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest easy here we have february 14 and this one is already done you say february 14 is the day when people give cards and presents to the ones they love right this one is already done what about the next one it says i can wait until the end of the year new year's eve this one is already made okay solo la primera no se la habían hecho new year's eve is a night when i have fun with my friends okay so in this case, you don't have to repeat the two things, right? My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans. No, you say Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. And you can say only one sentence with the same information. Very good. It was a challenge, right? Era para ponerlos a pensar un rato. And here we have the explanation, and I have some more examples, okay? Aquí tenemos un poco más de ejemplos. Can you read the first example, um, Anayansi? Anayansi, read the first example. Um, then, Thanksgiving then is a day where North Americans celebrate the harvest. Very good, thank you very much. Mr. Chun Chun Chun, hey, where are you? Mr. Milton, read the second one. February 14 is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. Very good. Uh, let's see, Maritza, read the last one. New Year's Eve. Maritza. Maritza, read the last one. Se nos pierde Maritza. Creí que la tenía y se me fue. Alfredo, can you read the last one? Teacher, perdón, excuse me, teacher. Uh, yes. Number, number. Three. New Year's Eve. New, New Year's uh, New Year New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. Very good job. Thank you very much. Thank you to my volunteers. So as you can see here, here you have the specific part. Here you have the celebration, the verb to be, the word a day, and then you have the relative close of time with when because it explains what happens. Thanksgiving is a day when North Americans celebrate the harvest. February 14 is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is the night when I have fun with my friends. Christmas is the day. 
How will you complete it? Christmas is the day when when the people celebrate is Jesus' birthday. When people celebrate Jesus' birthday, right? Christmas is a day when give me more examples. When when I have chicken. <laughs> When I eat a lot of chicken, <laughs> when I eat a lot of chicken, yes, right? And Christmas and the day after Christmas and the next day after Christmas and a week after Christmas, right? Pasamos como una semana comiendo pollo de Christmas. Yes. It's like, mamá, ¿qué vamos a comer? Chicken. <laughs> chicken. Everything is chicken there. New Year's Day. Here we have some examples. New Year's Day is a day when? And we did this exercise in the platform yesterday. Ayer lo hicimos en la plataforma, ese ejemplo. What is the complement for this one? New Year's People Day. People have parties with family and friends. People have parties with family and friends. April Fool's Day is a day when? People sometimes play tricks on friends. Excellent. People play tricks on friends. Very good. May and June are the months when? Many young adults choose to get married. Excellent. Valentine's Day is a day when? People, People express, express their love to someone. To some Labor Day is a day when? People in many countries honor worker. Very good. And February is the month when? Brazilians, Brazilians celebrate, celebrate carnival. carnival. Brazilians celebrate carnival. Very good job. We did it yesterday in the platform. Very good. So here I have some examples. Winter is the season when? Uh -huh. Right now it's a very good example. Winter is the season when? ¿Saben qué significa winter, verdad? Invierno. Invierno. Ah. Winter is the season when? En El Salvador. Uh -huh. Rain. Cuando llueve. When it rains a lot. In El Salvador. In the other, because in this country, only, only two. Um, ¿Cómo dice? Estaciones. Season. Thank you. Only two seasons. In the other countries, have four. Yeah, you have summer, spring, winter, uh, yes. and autumn. Yes. Well, but here in El Salvador, indeed, we have the four seasons. Yes. Yeah? We have the four seasons. Porque si se fijan allá por mayo, casi todo está floreciendo. Todo eso podemos tener spring. Allá por octubre, que todo se pone así como anaranjadito y todo, que se caen las hojitas. That's awesome, right? We have Lamento, it. Doctor, Ajá. Ya no yeah. We, we don't have it. Enero. But something beautiful about October is yes. uh, the evenings that are very orange and very beautiful. So, but that yes. happens in autumn. So I think we have autumn as well. And for sure, we have a summer that it's very hot. I think here all, all the year is summer. <laughs> because all the year it's hot in El Salvador. Birthdays are days when? When the people. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, but what, what do you do? Birthdays are days when? The family. Um, are... And don't worry, we love Canelo. People receive gay. <laughs> when people receive presents. Gifts. Presents or gifts, gifts or presents, right? We have it both of them. Cake. And you eat a lot of cake, right? Yes. A lot of cake. Everywhere mm -hmm. you eat cake. A spring is the time of the year. La primavera. A spring is the time of the year. Um, when the flowers boom. When the flowers bloom, very good. When the flowers bloom. 
Bloom is the up the, the action of poof opening. Mm. When the flowers bloom. Mother's Day is a day. When they celebrate uh, all mothers. When we celebrate our mothers with when we celebrate the flowers, presents. Or mothers, right? But we have to celebrate every day, not only on Mother's Day, okay? July and August are the months. Here in El Salvador, what happens? July and August are the months. Invent when, one sentence. Uh -huh. when, when celebrate many, many parties in... In los pueblos, when exactly when we celebrate most of the local parties, the local party, okay. When we celebrate most of the local parties, right? We have a lot of locals everywhere. Well, before COVID, because now with COVID, we don't go out. A wedding anniversary is a time when. I celebrate with my wife. Aha. When I celebrate love, let's say. When I celebrate love. El problema es cuando se les olvida. <laughs> when I celebrate love. It's like, today is a very beautiful day. And say like, aha, uh -huh. yeah, it's Thursday. And then? And then? And then, and then, then, you, and then? And, and then you are like, aha, uh -huh, it's Thursday. But, yeah, it's Thursday. Uh -huh. All day, uh, it's Thursday. Yeah, it, it's October, they say. Aha, uh -huh, it's October, Thursday. Aha, uh -huh, seven. Mm -hmm. Seven, what happened on October seven? Ah, yeah. Sí, mañana no tengo clase con teacher Nat. <laughs> Come on. It's, like, it's your anniversary. Right? Yeah. In some times, yeah, boys forget. And in some cases, we, ladies, forget. But it's more common that the boys forget. So, here we have some of the examples. As you can see here, we don't change that much the sentences, right? We have only the word when, right? Lo que le añadimos en este caso para describirlo es la palabra when y lo que sigue es una oración normal. It rains a lot in El Salvador. People receive gifts. The flowers bloom. We celebrate our mothers. We celebrate most of the local parties. I celebrate love. So we don't have a specific sentence on the other side it's a simple sentence but it's connected by the word when right winter is the season when it rains a lot in el salvador birthdays are the days when people receive gifts or presents you just give extra information to complement the first idea it is not really complicated as well okay so here I have, well, this is what we were, uh, what we were discussing, right? A specific and a special days. And you were talking about Christmas. What do you like about Christmas? What is something specific that you like about Christmas? The gifts. The gifts. <laughs> Everything, I don't know, it's very happy. Yeah, everything. I don't know why, but everything is very happy. Uh -huh. uh, very many people uh, have that vacation from uh -huh. work. I don't know. Yes, let's see. Regina, why do you like Christmas? I want to listen I... to, Re to Regina, Heidi, and let's see, Ismael. Regina, Heidi, and Ismael. Why do you like I Christmas? Like I lie because um, do you say we share with my family because share I share my family. Okay, I like Christmas because I share with my family. Good, very good. Thank you. Yes. Hey, teacher. Yes. I I like Christmas is a decoration. Ah, the, the yeah. stores, <laughs> the house. And okay. the only, only places. Okay, I like the Christmas light because of the decorations. 
I really like Christmas, the Christmas spirit, that it's everywhere. You go to the mall, it's decorated. You go to the streets, they are decorated. Everything is very colorful. Thank you very much, Heidi. And the last one, uh, Mr. Ismael, why do you like Christmas? I, lo uh, I like Christmas because I can, uh, I can have uh, dinner with my, with my family, my parents, and my sisters, and my, my wife and my daughter. Excellent. So it's going to be, so in this particular case, it's going to be the first time with my, and actually it's going to be the second one. <laughs> with, with my your daughter. daughter. Oh, yes. yeah. Christmas with kids get a special touch. I mean, because in some cases we are like kind of Grinch, right? Yeah, uno, yeah, 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 de adultos, como que, ah. Eh, ay, la Navidad, ish. ay, si sí, todos se quieren. Pero ya cuando hay un niño o una niña o más niños en casa, it's like oh, you have to decorate, you have to put the tree, the gifts, and everything. So it, it takes a different. The Grinch forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you for, they... you forget about the Grinch. Forget Grinch. Yes, and they get more excited than than, than, than we us. Do it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And let's see, the last participation is going to be from Diomesis. Diomesis, why do you like Christmas? Christmas, I share with the family. Because you share with the family, right? I think that's a very beautiful day because you share with the family. Okay, so I am going to leave this one here and I am going to share it with you on the chat. We are going to practice this conversation for the next class. It's going to be, uh, I am going to send it to you on the chat so we can practice it for the next class, okay? It is going to be about weddings. So for all the ones who had the experience of a wedding, have your experience ready because you are going to share a little bit on the next class. No sé cuántos de aquí ya se casaron. Van a compartir alguna historia relevante o divertida del día que se casaron. Okay, so keep it ready you, for you Monday. <laughs> you, 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 Sir, I have you need two histories. <laughs> you, you uh, may, you I, but it's going to be on Monday. I, I have many, many good, good stories about my wedding day. Funny I, histories. Yeah, I have funny, crazy. I have, uh, I have many stories. But I uh, just, just the, the, just to give you one before I leave. I, it was 1 p.m. and the wedding was at 3 p.m. And I called my husband and I said, are you ready? And he was watching TV. He was watching oh TV. God. And he had to go to, to cut his hair and, and to change and everything. And he, said, and he told me, I am going to do it in a moment. I was watching a movie and I said like, it's 1 p.m. <laughs> What he said, it's 1 p.m. <laughs> and then he started rushing and everything. It was very crazy. But yeah, I was the first one on the church and I was giving turns around the church. I oh, ando nice. vuelta alrededor de la iglesia para todo lo que llega. <laughs> it was fun. But that's going to be on Monday. I'm going to share more stories about weddings on Monday. Have a beautiful weekend, my dear students. I am going to see you next week for the next class. Have a beautiful night. Beautiful Thank night, you. beautiful weekend. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Bye.